who doesn't want to work 10 times faster? Hi, my name is Philip. I'm a UX designer and I started a UX design subscription service. And people get amazing work for a flat fee, but in order to deliver that, you need to be able to work fast. And I get a lot of questions from clients asking me like, hey, if we ask you to design this or build this, how long does it take? Truth be told, it doesn't matter. All the client cares about is getting amazing work and how fast I work is all depending on me. If I go to the garage and get my car fixed, does the guy work really fast or really slow? Do I care? Well, I want my car back as fast as possible, but I don't want to pay more if he works faster. So getting a fixed price or at least a value-based price and good service, good quality and fast delivery is all that I care about. So how I work, for example, with designing websites, I use Reloom, Figma to build websites in Webflow. I'm gonna give you a short demo this won't be like a full tutorial or anything, but I just want to give you like a high level overview. If it's something you find interesting, you can of course research it yourself. Or if you have any questions, contact me. You can email me at hi at philip.nl or connect with me on LinkedIn. So what is Reloom? How do you even call it? It's a really a starting point. So if you want to build websites, Reloom gives you all the tools that you need. Let's start by creating something and we'll talk you through it. So we will create a website for a full service digital agency in the Netherlands. I want to show my portfolio, services, and of course, a strong CTA for clients to get in touch with me or download a free resource generate. So this is just the starting point to create the first level of sitemap. And what you can actually see here, and I'll zoom in a bit, there's the description. It already created a home page. And now we can say how many pages do we think we need? And I think for a full service agency, five to 10 would be enough. We are thinking more about templates. I mean, if you have a portfolio project, it's one template. The content's just different for each client. So we're just gonna run this. And while it runs, we'll see what happens. So we see already a homepage, services, portfolio, blog, contact, nothing out of the ordinary, right? What it does now actually is decide which sections should be in the homepage. I will call this project full service digital agency and it's still running and generating. So right now it created a homepage. What do we have? A navigation, hero header, feature section, services, portfolio list, blog list, feature list, benefits, call to action, newsletter, FAQ, team section, a very, very long homepage, but that's fine. So let's say we would take this starting point to a client and maybe we want to say, hey, I want to show what my services look like or uh, which sections would go into a contact page. You can just hit generate on these pages and it works its magic. Of course, you can change things, don't worry. You still have the freedom to create whatever you want. But the thing with speed is if you can create something like this and it's 80% okay in what, 20 seconds, you're off to a great start. So it's better to fine tune the things that you don't like than to recreate this from scratch, which would take at least 10 times longer. So we would take this to a client. We would say, hey, this is something we're thinking about. How would you feel about having this as a website? Client says, sure. You could say, well, this took us exactly one minute to create. Now we will create the estimate, the proposal or whatever. And if the client signs off on it, we can proceed. So the next step would be wireframing. And here we go. So Reloom has a very extensive library of all different components. And what we used in the sitemap is actually saying, hey, this is a hero section. There are, I don't know how many different hero section types. There are feature types, there's list things, there's pricing tables, contact forms, you name it. So if I now zoom in on the homepage, we can say, well, okay, you know what? We have this header and underneath there's a feature section. I think the hero and the feature section look alike or too much alike. So I actually want to either change the direction of the image or I want a completely different header. So since we already use the image on the right side for the section below, we can maybe consider something like this. And now we have a header. As you can see, the copy is also AI generated. So it gives you a quick rough start. It's something you could say, well, hey, do we want to get a copy? Writer, or do we want to create our own content? Whatever you want to do with it. You can, of course, type in things so you can rename buttons, you can change text, and there are a lot of different blocks in here. So, for example, here we have the featured projects. Maybe we want to show three. These are the insights, which is our blog articles. Do we want a normal or do we want it with a card? So, with or without border, two or three columns, different content types. Do we show the author or not? So, it's quite customizable. And one of the things that I was kind of worried about in the beginning 
beginning is if you actually use this, like, will it still feel unique? Will it still have its own brand? Well, the cool thing is that you can, of course, take this into Figma. So there's, for example, copy to Figma, and I do need the Figma plugin, uh, install plugin. I'm not quite sure if I have this up and running, to be honest. Here we go. And it's opening in a different window. So I have it open here, Reloom library. So this is the Figma file that comes. This is the Figma file that comes with Reloom. I'll just create a new page just for the demo. I'll paste here what I have. We paste it in this block. And now we have the exact wireframe that we had in the browser. And here we can actually do our design work. All the components are in here as well. So if you're looking for headers, these are all the different types of headers, hero headers. Well, you can see how many variations there are. The list goes on and on. And the cool thing is that you can also bring this to Webflow. So what I have here is my Webflow account, the place where you build the website, the CMS. I have a starting point or not. I will go to the clone style guide. This is the starter project that you use. I'll clone it to my Webflow. Yes, here we go. Create site, demo Reloom. It opens up Webflow. And now let's think about what we want to build. So this is the way the pages are set up. You have your page wrapper, global styles main wrapper, and this is where everything goes. We can delete this. If we want, we can do two different things. We can copy it, of course, from the sitemap, or we can fully build it with the library. So we can either copy an uh, entire page, or we can select individual components. So if I would say navbar, so these are all the navigations, I can say, you know what, this would be one of the navigation items that I want. Let's see, UI elements. They changed this up quite recently. Marketing, can I extend this please? Yes, navbars. So these are all the different navigation elements that there are. So if I would copy this to Webflow, I will go here. Let me just check if one thing is turned on, the class sync. Let's see if the settings of Reloom client first. All right, and now we can just paste. And this is now our navigation and it's already functional. It even has the nice animation and let's just throw in a few more things. So maybe we want a hero section, right? Hero header section. So you have the very simple one, but maybe also something a little bit more spicy. Do -do 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 -do. Scroll the way down. Don't know how uncommon this one is, but we'll see. And now we have an, even an animating fading header with a YouTube video. And of course you can just replace the video. And that's how quick you can get it into Webflow. Now there is something to keep in mind that within your Webflow pages, you have a draft style guide. And this is really the starting point where you want to customize everything. So if I want to change all H1 headings, I can see what font is being used, the weight that's being used. So this is really the place where you can style your typography, the colors, the list, all your different elements that are there. You'll see all the classes that's being used. For those who don't know, Webflow uses something called client-first class naming, which is very user-friendly. So if you have a class that says text align center, you can pretty much guess what it does. Then there's colors, text colors, effects, UI elements like buttons. So if you want to restyle a button, you can simply change one of the colors. Maybe you want, oh, this is the text color, my bad. Background color, it's now a variable. And I mentioned variables, so for people who want to get technical, and I'll keep it short because most probably won't, you can save color swatches and then you can create variables. So what do I mean by that? Normally you can say maybe you have like 10, 11, 12 different neutral gray shades colors. So they are called gray 25, 50, 100, 200, all the way to 950. It's very nice, but you don't really know what you use them for consistently. So you can say background primary or border primary, border secondary. With this, you can actually, if you want to, for example, the button, if I want to change the border, I can go here to borders, I can select color and I can type border. And I see here the colors that I've set up for my borders. It might be a bit too much detail for now. This is just a quick overview of Reloom in combination with Webflow. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Is this something that you would see yourself using? Do you think this would help up to speed up the way you work? Let me know what you think. See you soon.